सुदीप्ता यस सर इफ यू आर कंफर्टेबल शेल वी स्टार्ट योर इंटरव्यू यस सर माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज जनरली इन बेंगोली द नेम एंड्स विथ ओ सुदीप्तो प्रशांतो Yes, in sir. your case it is not like that it is a only at the end of it is yes, there sir. any reason for that sir actually uh, my name and shubhito both mean same because i am a female so it is instead of shubhito it shubhita okay fine what is the meaning of that sir shu in bengali means beautiful and dip उटिंग Okay, sir. Uh, my name is Shubhita Devna. I have done my graduation and post graduation in Sydney from University of Kolani, and then I started preparing for government jobs. And I really like to join banking sector. And also, sir, my hobby is to play ukulele, and I also like to sing. Okay. Now, which year you have passed your graduation and post graduation? That you did not tell. Add that also. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, I passed Not... graduation. Yes. I passed graduation in two thousand seventeen and post graduation in two thousand nineteen. Okay. So after post graduation, what you are doing till now? You are preparing for banking exams only. Sir, uh, I am not just preparing for banking exams. I have been preparing for all sorts of exams, including banking. Okay. Fine. then why you want to join bank sir uh, i feel bankers are the one who are considered trustworthy because when you are dealing with people's hard earned money there is nothing but your own personal integrity that works alongside the bank and also i feel uh, in bank you are not just paid for your work rather you work for the betterment of the organization these are the quality i really like about bank okay betterment for the organization but also the society down particularly the down trodden people through the government schemes which are implemented through banks okay okay sir. now when you talk about government schemes for welfare of the down trodden people then you should know about the schemes also what are those schemes to name a few mm -hmm. sir which are related to banking which are related to banking and which are aimed at up upgrading the life of down trodden people sir uh, there are few schemes for women like mission bachalya um portion 2 abhidhan and, uh, and uh, Sir, I can't really recall the names right now. You should be ready with the answer. So okay. please revise the government schematic lending through banks. Okay, sir. Mutra is there. Do you know something about Mutra scheme? Um. Uh, yes, sir. Um. Uh, sir, I know uh, something. Can I uh, reply by guesswork, sir? Yes. Tell me. Uh, sir, uh, Mudra scheme is uh, government is trying to include more and more people financially through Mudra scheme. So uh, by this scheme, government is opening BSBD account, also known as basic uh, saving bank deposit account, which is no also known as zero balance account, so that more people can be included financially. But that is financial inclusion. It is not Mudra. mudra scheme is government is lending people through banks three classifications are there one is kishor other is saishav can you recollect anything now no sir sorry sir it is for micro units 
Sir, I didn't go through this section. I definitely check it out. Go through these all these skills. Okay, sir. Because questions are likely to be asked around that. Okay, okay. sir. Have you read budget? Yes, sir. What is the underlying current of the budget? Main theme of the budget? Sir, the main theme of the budget is as we are in the 75th uh, year of independence, in the upcoming 25th year, the government is trying to um, uplift our uh, country as a whole. He, uh, government, it is also known as Amrit Kal, this 25 year, and is Amrit Kal period. There is four main target. One is in uh, Mission Gati Shakti. The next one is in inclusive development, and then it is in climate action, and then it is in financing investment. So this is the main theme of the budget. Fine. Now what is Gati Shakti scheme? Sir, in Mission Gati Shakti scheme, the government has consolidated seven engines, uh, which are related to transport, like port, railways, um, airport, okay. um, waterways. What, what will be the advantages of this Gati Shakti? Mm, sir, uh, there are two advantages that I can say that uh, railway track, uh, <laughs> national highway track will be extended to 25,000 kilometer uh, in the upcoming years. Right, that is okay, but what will be the advantages of this Gati Shakti Yojana? Sir, advantages the... will be increase in employment, increase in GDP, logistics movement will be faster. Hmm? Okay, sir. Uh, what is e Vidya scheme? Sir, um... E Vidya scheme is uh, in which the government is trying to all uh, government already has 12 channels and government is trying to increase it up to 200 in those channels uh, international universities uh, for teachers from inter international universities will teach and people from home can learn it and also 25 uh, this is called uh, online university and this will be opened through this e Vidya scheme okay excellent uh, can you tell me what are the major functions of the Reserve Bank of India? Yes, sir. Mm, sir, the major functions of the Reserve Bank of India is currency circulation. Uh, um, it pre, uh, also, it takes care of the monetary policy, the flow of money in the market. Reserve Bank of India works as a banker to the government. It takes care of the need of the government banking need of the government. It also works as the bankers to the bank. Uh, it takes care of the banking need, uh, the services banks provide to us. Reserve Bank of um, India provides similar services to banks. It also um, works as a lender of last resort in case of the banks are in emergency. Another okay. important Okay, fine. Can you tell me what is the significance of a repo rate and reverse repo rate? What are the rate, these two rates? Are they interrelated or they are independent of each other? Yes, sir. They are inter uh, interrelated and they are part of monetary policies, quantitative control, also known as um, CRR, cash reserve ratio. Okay. Cash uh, reserve ratio is something different. It has nothing to sorry, do with sir, reverse delayed. repo and repo sorry, rate. Sir. Sorry, sir. Uh, extremely sorry. They are Two divisions of LA, uh, liquidity adjustment facility. They are interrelated. Um, repo rate is when a bank needs money, it takes the money from RBI. The rate at which it takes the money is called repo rate. And when the bank has surplus money, it store, gives the RBI the money and RBI pays the bank interest. It is called reverse repo rate. Okay. Uh, can you tell me? Who is the head of the Monetary Policy Committee? I cannot recall. How many members are there? I don't know, sir. I'll look into it. Look into it, huh? That is very major and important question. 
okay what is the relationship of rbi in respect of the relationship this inflation sorry sir i didn't catch the question can you please what is the relationship of rbi in respect of inflation in the country okay sir rbi controls monetary policy through which rbi can take uh, rbi can through various quantitative measures rbi can control the interest rate through which the excess amount of money can be withdrawn from the market and inflation will be controlled okay fine can you tell me whether a situation can be there when inflation is also there and economy is stagnant Sir, I am. I am. You are asking me to give an example. Like I am asking whether it is possible. Generally, in inflationary economy, the economy is growing. Employment is being generated. Hmm. Production goes up. Hmm. Inflation because more money is there with the public. Demand is also more. Yes. can there be a situation when the money is more that is inflation is there in the market but the supply side is stagnant yes, it is sir. not going up um, there is a term uh, which is called stagflation when there is more inflation and more unemployment rate as well so it can right. be happen your reply is correct 100% correct what do you know about the priority sector lending of the banks sir priority sector lending is lending to those sector of economy which otherwise would not have got proper credit uh, there are eight sectors like uh, education uh, renewable energy agriculture msme etc and every bank whether it's rrb or public service bank has to lend some amount of its loan to the priority sectors Uh, in case of public service bank, it is forty percent, and for RRBs and small finance bank, it is seventy five percent. Right, correct reply. But suppose any bank is having shortfall, then what it can do? Hmm. Sir, uh, there is one thing which is called. Uh, Uh, i believe what that is called priority sector uh, lending certificate uh, maybe right. they can take care it is from called pa bank. participation certificate the banks who are having lent surplus they can issue the participation yes. certificate to right. deficit banks yes sir uh, what else there is one more method i am not aware of sir even in case of shortfall they can transfer the funds to ridf rural infrastructure development fund of nabard or sidvi okay sir i read it as a uh, i mean uh, if the, uh, i i was aware of it but i read it as if the government cannot um, if the banks cannot give psl then it is a strict um, this one is strict step which is taken against them so i did not know that it was uh, it also could be yes. done yes it can be done okay and this is the major source of funding for ridf and that money is utilized for infrastructure development in rural areas both by sidbi as well as nabard okay, okay. now you okay. have used the term small industrial banks yes sir what are those sir uh, small industrial banks uh, are those which are converted to small industrial bank after 5 years uh, after 10 years of business which has uh, asset of more than 200 crore uh, payments bank which are in business for more than 5 years can be converted into a small uh, small finance bank uh, okay fine that's all you have used the term payment banks what are payment banks sir payments bank can be opened by various sectors but uh, their asset should be more than 100 crore and uh, sir that's all i can what is upi sir uh, the full form of upi is united payment interface 
UPI United or a, Unified? Unified, sorry. Unified, uh, unified payment interface. Uh, unified they, payment interface. So what it does? Yes, sir. Through this, we can make many online transactions uh, from our mobile phone. Uh, in UPI, there are various, uh, through various payment apps like Google Pay, Paytm, etc. Okay. In the budget, there was a talk of digital currency also. What is that? And what is the difference between digital currency and cryptocurrency? So digital currency, I believe, which is uh, authorized by the government of a country. Uh, and on cryptocurrency, there is no hand of the government. Uh, government cannot have control on cryptocurrency. Uh, the, uh, in budget, it was announced that by 2023, India is going to um, public, uh, roll out their own digital currency. Okay. What is tokenization of a card? Sir, um, again, I would really like to reply by this word. Tokenization of credit card or debit card? Sir, is uh, I I might be wrong, but uh, it uh, is it the tokenization can be the chip, including the chip, which is nowadays included in credit card no. and debit card. Uh, Those are chip-based cards. Tokenization is something different. Here, the card details are not shared. Only a token is issued, and that token is shared. So this is used for security purposes. RBI has issued instructions to all the credit card or debit card issuing agencies in India to introduce tokenization so that the card details are not available to anybody. Okay. Uh, can you tell something about the productivity linked incentive scheme of the government of India? Mm. Productivity, sir, productivity linked incentive schemes are there to boost the production of a particular uh, entity. And in budget, uh, government has announced that there will be. I'm sorry, sir, I am not very much clear of the subject. You find out. Can you tell me what is the genesis of recent war between Ukraine and Russia? Yes, sir. Uh, the genesis is, sir, we'll have to go a little bit in the past. Um, in 19, uh, I believe in 1949, uh, NATO, North Atlantic Treaty Organization was formed and it was formed to lessen the power of USSR. In that time, Russia was USSR, and in that time, NATO was built by just Canada, uh, USA, and some East European countries. Uh, but uh, in 1991, USSR got dismissed, but uh, NATO kept enlarging various European countries like Greece, um, Spain, uh, Turkey joined NATO. Recently, New Macedonia uh, in 2020 also joined NATO. Ukraine also wanted to join NATO and all these countries joining NATO, the main reason is their policy, which says that if any uh, outside country attacks uh, any of the members of NATO, then it will be considered as an attack of all the members. So for this security, Ukraine also wanted to join NATO, but if Ukraine had joined NATO, then the Russia's influence in that area would have been really less. So Russia tried to stop that and uh, Russia tried to deploy its, uh, its commander to the Ukraine-Russia border. And that's why that's when NATO and Ukraine got really scared because earlier in 2014, Russia illegally uh, invaded Crimea and captured it. So that's when the tension started. Okay. Can you tell me something about blockchain technology? No, sir. Uh, you I, you I, are not aware. Yes. You have done your uh, education in physics. Yes, sir. 
Can you tell me the Newton's law of motion? Yes, sir. Uh, there are three Newton's law of motion. The first law says if uh, any object is at rest, it will be at rest. Or if any object is moving in a straight line, it will keep moving in a straight line until uh, obstructed by an external force. The second law of motion says that the momentum mm, um, to change the motion of a body, it has to be implemented by an external. Sir, um, the, I will come to this later. The third law of motion says that uh, every action has an equal and opposite reaction. And the second law of motion, I, I forgot the exact word, sir. You refresh your subject also. Okay. Can you tell me what is Archimedes principle? Archimedes principle. Sir, according to Archimedes principle, if an object is submerged in water, it mm, takes out the water in... <laughs> you are weak in your own subject. I, I, I need to work on this, sir. Sorry. You refresh your subject because basic questions will be asked. What is heading for entropy or enthalpy? Sir, uh, please, can you ask me the question again? World is heading for entropy or enthalpy. Have you heard these two terms? Yes, uh, I have, uh, but I didn't got the question though. I didn't understand the meaning of the question. There are two terms. One is entropy, other is enthalpy. Yes, sir. The entire world is heading for which side? Enthalpy or entropy? I don't know, sir. Sorry. This is also basic physics. I think the world is heading for entropy because entropy is more energy. It is, is disorderliness. Disorderliness, yes. The world is heading for disorderliness. disorderliness. Everything heads for that only. The latest or the oldest example is Brownian motion. Yes, sir. The motion increases the entropy. Energy remains the same. But system becomes more disorganized. Okay. Okay, sir. So now coming to the feedback, if you are ready to receive it, the feedback is that you have to tone up your subject, you have to refresh your subject, particularly the basic concepts. Okay, up sir. to the 10th or 12th standard and okay, you sir. have to keep on updating yourself about the current affairs. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Can I please uh, grab a paper and pen? No, you need not note it down because sir. a video will be provided to you by Baiju. The recording is being done by me. You will get it. You can go through it laserly n number of times and whatever feedback is given, you can improve accordingly. Then sir, you have to brush up your knowledge about the Reserve Bank of India, the banking, various terminology, the money market instruments. That will take care of your interview. You have a nice personality, very suitable for the banking. You have given the right answers. But simply the reasons for attending banking or joining banking, you elaborate it a little more. Banking has a large number of vacancies. Recruitment okay. is a recruitment test and otherwise it is very fair. The recruitment process is short and once you join the bank, then your work-life balance is better. You, could hand, you get handsome salary and perquisites. You get the opportunity to serve the society at large. Social respect is there. Lot of benefits. Whatever comes to your mind, you can share with them. And these are the reasons why you want to join the bank. <laughs> Which bank you are given the first priority and why? Sir, I have given Union Bank of India as my first priority and because there were more vacancies. Large number of vacancies. Yes, sir. So go through the Union Bank of India website and find out who is the chairman of Union Bank of India, what are the deposits, what are advances, it is running in profit or in losses, how many branches they are having. Okay, okay where are the headquarters, all the information. 
Sir, I wanted to ask you a few questions. May I? Yeah, sure. Sir, uh, this is my first interview. Uh, I have never given any interview. So, uh, no and problem. De definitely not in English. Because here we speak Bengali. So, uh, how do you think my English speaking... Your speaking English was a correct, no problem. Okay, sir. Uh, but definitely you cannot give interview in Bengali. It has to be either in Hindi or English or a mixed language. Yes. So English, your English is quite perfect. No problem. Okay, sir. Thank you. And sir, uh, my interview is scheduled around 1 p.m. or after. So when I enter, should I say good noon or good afternoon? 1 p.m. means good afternoon. Okay, sir. And, sir, and before uh, going to the venue, you read the day's newspaper and the previous day's newspaper thoroughly. Okay. Sir. And sir, another thing I was looking into internet that, um, sir, in uh, NPA, there are various kinds of NPA. And the last one in doubtful asset, uh, there is 12 months period. But I just couldn't get in touch with that in loss asset if there is any period or not. Because loss asset is loss one asset, no be... period. No. Even a even it advance, if it is six months old or three months old, or even one day old, can be classified as loss asset. Okay. Okay, sir. Um, and sir, fact, um... only two types of advances go to loss asset. Either a fraud has been committed in the account, then it will go to loss asset, irrespective okay. of the period, or when the asset transfers from standard to substandard, then doubtful, and it is beyond three years, then it is transferred to loss asset. Okay. And sir, uh, one thing that uh, I believe in interview eye contact is very important. Yes. But when but when a question is being asked and I need few seconds to think, in those few seconds, can I lose the eye contact? Because it gets very difficult to looking at a person and think. You look inside na, with open eyes. Okay, so you it can look to enough. other panel members also. And when you start replying, then you maintain the eye, eye contact with the person. But so don't look at the roof, don't look at the floor, don't look at your hand or you start tapping your fingers. Don't do these things. Don't distort your facial expression, like blinking of the eyes, taking out your tongue, scratching the, your head or cheek or chin. Don't do that. So All I... these things are prohibited. Okay. Simply think a while. Okay, sir, when I'm thinking, uh, the answer, then also I cannot do all this. Yeah, no. Okay, okay sir. Instead and... of the person who has asked you a question, look to somebody else who is present in the observer's panel. And when you start replying, you look to that person and give, it, give your reply. And during the reply also, you can look to other parties. It is not that you have to look at him constantly. No, don't ignore any panel member. You have to look to them by rotation. Order may be anything. Okay, sir. And, uh, sir, uh, another thing is, if during the interview my hair comes in the shoulder, then is that okay? It's okay, no problem. Okay. You can put and... it back also, once or twice. Okay, oh, okay. Then that's fine. No problem. And, sir, uh, in this interview, was my eye contact and everything uh, It was fine. okay, fine. Body, fine, body no language. problem. Body language was fine, otherwise I would have commented on it. Okay, and sir, uh, sometimes when I give answer, my hands start moving like this. Is it okay? It is okay, but excessive hand movement should not be there. It should not look like as if, if your hands are tied, you will not be in a position to speak. Okay, sir. Because personal interview, you have to keep your gestures as minimum as possible, body language as minimum as possible. But in your group discussion, you have to use it extensively. Okay, sir. And sir, from this interview, 
what would I have gotten if you have to give a, uh, give me some marks? That was not the purpose of the mock interview, so I have not thought anything about it. I can okay. simply say that you are a good candidate for selection, but for okay. the shortcomings in your knowledge base, that you have to make it up. Okay, sir. that's all. And I if you don't know the answer, in in between what has happened, in respect of some questions, you have started giving answer, but subsequently you said that you are not in a position to recollect. Yes, you sir. You think twice. Before give started giving a reply, and if you are not in a position to recollect, say sorry, I don't know. I will look into it. Rather than starting a reply and then closing, I do not know. Because when you start giving reply, our expectations go high. We think no. that you are replying, and then you suddenly say sorry, I don't know. That creates a bad image. Okay. You should okay. be very clear whether you know about it or you don't know about it. There is nothing wrong in saying. Sorry, sir. I don't know. I will look into it later. Okay, sir. So your questionnaire is over. Yes, sir. Thank. You. Any other question? No, sir. Shall we call it a day? Okay, sir. It was really okay, nice. Okay. All the best to you. Best of luck. Give good Thank result. You. Give good interview, and share okay. your good result and your experience with by you. Sure, sir. Okay. okay. All the best to you. Best of luck. Now I am closing it. You will get a video from the Baiju. Okay. Okay.